All right, we're gonna do some repair work on the um, Airstream rivet without a middle in it. And these I've already punched in. Use a spring-loaded tool. I've been punching them three times. Replace, replace this whole panel. And this is what they look like um, after they're shaved down. So it's been taking this. And then now we gotta go all the way down. And uh, now we're gonna just zip off the drill, the head pops off, and then uh, I got some buck rivet, rivets that we're gonna do, and um, I'll continue the video in a minute. We showed you a second ago where we took the um, spring loaded punch and punched the center of the Olympic rivets out. Now we got a 532nd high speed drill bit. Uh, my brother's actually inside holding the back of the Olympic rivet with a pair of pliers, and we're just you don't want to drill it out. You got it? Okay. You don't want to drill it out the hole. You just want to pop the head off. Go right up the second one. All right. And they come off fairly easy. Uh, if you, especially if you got good drill bits. Like I said, you don't want to go through the hole. You don't have to. Sometimes you will. But we're going to have to redo this whole panel. So that's basically what I was wanting to tell you. I'll show you how to do just in case you um, didn't know. We're learning as we go as well. Uh, if there's a better, easier way, uh, I couldn't find it, but you're more than welcome to leave a com uh, comment below or um, another link to another video or more information. We're always willing to learn. Uh, but we're gonna peel this out, seal it up, and then we're gonna use actual buck rivets with the, with the um, pneumatic gun and uh, the bucking bar and uh, we'll continue the video then. Rivets, uh, we replaced with buck rivets and uh, this is where we drilled out the Olympic rivets and there's an example of the original. So we, we replaced basically this <clears throat> This seam, hole, seam going all the way down, and then all the middle seams. I have no idea why this thing had so many Olympic rivets in it. Um, I don't know if it was, surely it wasn't a factory thing, and I cannot see this thing leaking like that. So maybe they were just really guessing at where the water was coming in. They thought that. They would get it somehow eventually. I don't know, but uh, I don't know how many we replaced so far. Uh, but this is our last little run on this side, and uh, I'll give you some video on um, how we've been doing the buck rivets and the modification I had to make to the rivet tool to make it look a little bit better because it was sort of dinging up the outside and I just basically took it, uh, put it on a, a wheel grinder and um, sort of chamfered the outside of the, of the tool where, it's, where it seats on the, on the rivet itself. And uh, then I can actually see the, the flat portion, make sure I'm lined up perpendicular um, and keep, it, keep from any, getting any smileys or anything. So I'll show you the tool. Um, what I did was took my tool because of then I uh, put a chamfer on there. Because it was leaving a little bit of smileys on there. It wasn't um, it was pretty flat, it wasn't tapered like that. I got a 45 degree sharpening tool, so I took it out of the gun and um, just turned this bad boy on, just twisted it. And, uh, Alright, so here's an example of the bucking bar we're using. You get it on Amazon. I'll put links in the description. And we got our rivets cut down to size. And basically just hold it in place. You want to push it all the way up. Because I put the chamfer, I can see that I'm square on the rivet. Go ahead. Matt's going to put the bucking bar on the back and let me know when he's ready. And he, and he 
okays the, the back when it's smashed down and we just continue. Definitely um, don't do what I did and start out trying to figure out on the Airstream. <laughs> so, you ready? Yeah. That's three second push. What we found flat enough to hold on the other side. You ready? that pretty much original look. Right, more Olympic rivets. <laughs>